the entire sky belongs to us. The United States is once again leaving rivals in the dust. The race for sixth generation dominance has begun and the country is far ahead of other nations, friend or foe. While other nations are taking the one step at a time route, the U.S. is blazing forward with an entire fleet of new sixth generation technologies, each one more revolutionary as the movement of the Earth around the Sun. Still, individually powerful as they are, all of these technologies must operate in sync easily to operate as one formidable force. And that is made possible thanks to a high performance, resilient, impenetrable network. The future of America's air superiority revolves around not a single aircraft, but an army of air-based assets all working together, sharing information, commands, strategies, dad jokes, and everything else. This way, the data gathered by each asset is collated and combined to draw a clear picture of the battlefield. Then the battlefield picture is shared with every member of the fleet, so everyone is aware of everything relevant, including strategic hotspots and the location of enemy forces. This allows for useful intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance that can be used to achieve seamless execution of missions. With all of these heavily reliant on joint operations and interoperability, the U.S. military has set out to develop a network via which all sixth-generation assets would interact with one another. To the U.S. military, all assets on the field have streams of useful data to share, and every drop of this data must be mined. The assets in question range widely from manned fighters to unmanned fighters and everything in between, but the most notable of them are these sixth-generation warplanes. Currently under development across various programs with cool names, the following sixth-generation warplanes are some of the most advanced aircraft that'll take to the skies to defend the U.S. in a not-too-distant future. NGAD Fighter the NGAD fighter is the sixth generation fighter under development in the U.S. Air Force's NGAD program. NGAD, meaning next generation for air dominance, is aimed at developing a family of systems that would ensure the U.S. stays at the top of the military food chain for decades to come, at least. The systems in this program would include, among other things, new weapons, sensors, jet engines, and of course the manned fighter around which all the other components will revolve. Therefore, to a great extent, the capabilities of the entire NGAD program depend heavily on the NGAD fighter. And like the fighter knows this, it's fitting to be the best thing since sliced bread for the Air Force. The NGAD fighter aims to be the stealthiest fighter in history by taking an overall triangular shape, internally holding its payload, and having no distinct tail section. The fighter would also have an open architecture that enables it to take on new upgrades quickly and easily. As a result, the fighter would constantly adapt to newer challenges of the battlefield introduced by advancements of opposing militaries. In terms of its more active capacities, the NGAD fighter would wield the most advanced sensors and weapons the U.S. has to offer. For maximum sensitivity of its sensors, the fighter would do away with radars mounted on aircraft for electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. Regarding weapons, the fighter would be armed to the teeth with the widest array of the most advanced American guns, bombs, missiles, and laser-directed energy weapons. To bring all of these to life, Congress has already budgeted over $10 billion for the program, and that amount is expected to skyrocket over the coming years. Once in service, the NGAD fighter will replace the lethal F-22 Raptor to become the new face of American air dominance. B-21 Unveiled on December 2, 2022 at the Northrop Grumman's facility in Palmdale, California, the B-21 Raider is the world's first sixth-generation aircraft to be seen. It is the bomber equivalent of the NGAD fighter and is born of the B-2 Spirit, the stealthiest aircraft in history. Unlike stealth fighters, which are detectable using low-frequency radar bands, the flying wing design of the B-2, and therefore the B-21, is said to be extremely stealthy against all radar frequencies. The new B-21 will be an optionally manned bomber that's the lead of a larger family of systems for long-range strike, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. 
The program that would birth the B-21 began in 2011, but it would take four years to select a contractor from a heated battle between a Boeing Lockheed Martin team and Northrop Grumman. Northrop Grumman, with decades of stealth bomber experience from the B-2, which has had a stellar three-decade career, won the contract to develop the B-21 by offering the most economical costs for the capabilities requested by the Air Force. To build the B-2, Northrop Grumman teamed up with 400 suppliers across 40 states, all operating continuously for almost a decade. Some of these suppliers include American aerospace manufacturer Pratt & Whitney, the largest defense contractor in Europe, BAE Systems, the world's largest first-tier aerostructures manufacturer, Spirit Aerosystems, Northrop Grumman's Orbital ATK, Rockwell Collins, GKN Aerospace, and Janiki Industries. All these companies led by Northrop Grumman developed the B-21 into a $630 million bomber armed with unrivaled bomber capabilities and 30,000 pounds of conventional or nuclear explosives. FAXX The FAXX is the Navy's equivalent of the Air Force's NGAD fighter, an optionally manned multi-role capable air superiority fighter, but this time carrier capable too. In fact, the similarities between the two fighters run so deep that the FAXX is also being developed under a sixth generation program known as NGAD, yet completely different from that of the Air Force. And like the Air Force, the Navy is spending heavy on the fighter. The Navy recently released a budget request of over $9 billion to spend on the program alone over the next five years. The FAXX-2 will be the centerpiece of a family of systems and feature increased payload thanks to an efficient space management and a large blended wing airframe. It would achieve its air superiority by normalizing supercruise and wielding many similar dominating capabilities of the NGAD fighter, such as impeccable stealth, open architecture, sensors, and weapons. Boeing and Northrop Grumman are two heavy names already tied to development of the FAXX fighter. When the fighter enters service during the 2030s, if all goes according to plan, it is expected to replace the FA-18EF from the Navy's fleet and complement the F-35C Lightning II. Wingman Bomber As said before, future sixth-generation fighters would likely not operate alone. They would be accompanied by assets under their command via a network. One of these assets would be the Wingman Unmanned Bomber, which would accompany the B-21 Raider when it enters service. A sixth-generation aircraft in its own right, the Wingman Bomber would be more than just an expendable drone used to distract enemy defenses from the crewed B-21. It would be a multi-million dollar mini Raider of some sort that's highly survivable on the battlefield and wields top-tier technologies, including modern artificial intelligence and a heavy weapons load. With significantly less personal risk, these unmanned vehicles could gather relevant data from the edge of the battlefield. They could engage anti-ship weapons and air defense systems that are too well defended to risk engaging crewed aircraft. They could go ahead to scout for the safest route to a target area, and so on. Over the next five years, the U.S. military plans to spend more than $6 billion on the wingman bomber and other similar type unmanned escort drones. The Air Force, through Secretary Frank Kendall, revealed that the service plans to have a minimum of 1,000 unmanned drones developed alongside new stealth fighters and bombers to support not just the new generation aircraft, but also the older F-35 Lightning II. In terms of specifications, an unclassed request for information the Air Force has released to industry partners calls for this new drone stealth bomber to have at least a 4,000-pound payload capacity and a combat radius of 1,500 miles. Mayhem Project Mayhem is a program by the Air Force Research Laboratory that's focused on developing hypersonic aircraft of the future. In December 2022, the Air Force awarded Virginia-based Lidos $334 million for Mayhem's continued development. The propulsion system would enable future aircraft take off like any other plane, travel at Mach 5 plus hypersonic speeds unlike most other planes, and then land like any other plane. To accomplish this, Mayhem aims to field the world's first turbine-based combined cycle hypersonic propulsion system. This propulsion system works by basically marrying two different types of engines, scramjets and turbofan engines. Scramjets, coined from supersonic ramjets, have been under testing for decades, but to date, no country has ever managed to put one into service. 
Air moving through a scramjet flows at supersonic speeds, which makes ignition very difficult. It's like keeping a match lit in a hurricane. And due to the supersonic requirement of the air moving through scramjet engines, they don't work efficiently at slower speeds. This is what begs the need for turbofan engines, like the ones found in fighter jets. These turbofan engines work at slower subsonic speeds and then accelerate the aircraft to higher supersonic speeds where the scramjet engines can take over to thrust the aircraft into hypersonic speeds. All of these new technologies, from the Mayhem to the Wingman Bomber to the FAXX, the B-21 Raider, and the NGAD Fighter, are all main characteristics in the U.S.'s plan to dominate the sixth generation of aerial warfare. And they're almost sufficient to achieve that. They just need one more thing to be complete. They need you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.